Ryan, how's it going, man? How are we doing today? I'm pretty excited for this, man. I've, I haven't done these before. Uh, I've seen them posted on other break channels, but I thought it'd be fun. Mr. Andy, Alexis, how's everybody doing tonight? Happy Tuesday. Good afternoon, Chain. What's up? You gotta send me a picture of that Zion you got. I wanna see how. I wanna see what what the uh, what the grades look like. Oh, he said it was a nine. Oh, I thought it was a BGS nine. Yeah, yeah. Send me that, dude. I wanna see what the like if like how far off they are. They've been pretty extra critical with those Zion prisons. I don't have any slabs I want to crack right now. Let me think about that. Quick lesson. What's up, Nathan? How's it going? All right, so for cracking slabs, you need two tools. These are dikes. You can call them side cutters if you're offended by that word. Uh, and then a flathead screwdriver. For PSA cards, oh, I always use a napkin too, or like a cloth. You want to put this just to cover it up for any kind of flying debris if you don't want if you don't have safety goggles. Uh, I usually go right above. Man, my contrast is way off. I uh, usually go right above the label. You want to be aggressive, but not overly aggressive with it. Uh, and you're going to basically cover it up and just basically munch down as hard as you can. Uh, it'll snap off. I've never had a car damaged before. Uh, so once you get that side off, uh, you can do the same thing to the other side. And then uh, basically you're going to have a little opening in between the side right here. It's going to work your flat head into there and kind of just wedge it. And just work your way down the edge. PGS slabs are a lot easier. These come apart a lot simpler than than the PSA slabs. Uh, essentially, it's the same thing. Go at the corner here. 
uh, take a huge chunk off, and then usually you, with one side you can lift it up and you can basically grab the whole thing and just pull it apart. Uh, with PSA, you got to be quite a bit more uh, careful because these seal a lot better all the way along the edges, uh, and you can crack. You'll you can either snap the uh, the top of the slab in half. Uh, so just be really careful going along the edge, slowly prying it up as you go, and the card will free up. Now, if I had one, I'd show you. I'd, I've done it before on stream, but I don't have anything uh, that I need to crack right now. So next time. Oh man. Are you guys getting double audio there? Was that like extra loud? Okay, anyway, so tonight we're starting off with Break King. This is a three box case. Can't really see it. And there you go. Three boxes in this case. Three cards per box. Nine cards total. In this break, each spot gets a card. So what we're going to do is we're going to open up all the cards. I'll throw the cards up here in the, the column up there in the, the break uh, results up here in the top right. And then we'll randomize the cards against the names you see there just to the right of that. And whatever cards you end up on, you're going to get. Hey, uh, Brian, if depending on how this goes, we might do some more. Obviously, this is the first time we've done this. Uh, me personally and on this channel but it should be fun big risk big reward um, most of the time you're not gonna get go home empty-handed I mean obviously you're gonna get a card but uh, yeah you could you can end up with the Torkelson PSA 10 orange parallel auto like worth I don't know a hundred million dollars or you can get you know a buyback PSA 9 of I don't know. Pete Alonzo? I don't know. Anyways, without further ado, let's get to it. Uh, these are repack buybacks from the Break King. Um, they do these about six to seven times a year. I don't know the print run. There's not a checklist. I emailed the CEO trying to get the checklist from him, but he wouldn't give me anything. And I'm not sure if they even know what's in these, to be honest with you. Box one. Yeah, yeah, we're gonna open and then, and then randomize. All right, these are just kind of thrown in here. What the hell kind of box is this? All right, we're gonna go this way. All right. Box one, first card, Gavin Lux, 2020, PSA 10. I have a couple of these myself. Nice card, probably only worth maybe uh, 90 to 100 bucks right now, but once season starts, that's gonna be a hot card. Card two, this is a Lewis Robert, 2019 Topps Heritage, Minor League, PSA 10. I haven't seen this card yet, that's awesome. That'll be a good one. And our last card in here. Holy shit. Ronald Acuna Jr. 2018 Topps Chrome Rookie Autograph PSA Gem Mint 10. All right. So if that's any indicator for what's going to be inside of these, I'm pretty excited. Uh, what's the Acuna PSA 10 going for? That's got to be... I don't know, $500 card? It's gotta be, right? 
Man, three tens. I wasn't expecting three graded cards, let alone three gem tens. Box two. Backwards. Here, I'm just gonna take them off the screen. You guys trust me, right? Yeah, you can see up here. All right. Card one, box two. Fernando Tatis Jr. 2019 Bowman Chrome PSA Gem Mint 10. That is a sick card. I think I just made an I think I just made an announcement on this card in uh, in the Discord server like literally a couple days ago. That's awesome. Card two. 2019 Eloy Jimenez Bowman Chrome Gold Refactor. That is number four out of 50, PSA 10. One K, wow. I should have gotten two cases of this stuff. This is, this is sick. And last card, 2018 Tops Update, Shohei Otani. US one PSA gem mint 10. That's about a $60 card. So you can get an Eloy gold, a Tatis 10 or a rookie Acuna auto 10. I mean, that's so far so good. Box three. And if anybody's waiting over there, um, down below us in the upcoming breaks, we've got 2018 Top Series 2. Looking for Glaber Torres, short prints, and the Ronald Acuna Jr. Uh, super short print bat down variation. We also have five spots left in the Topps Chrome Sapphire and a few spots left in the Jumbo Chrome. We are breaking the Topps Series 2 no matter what tonight. Uh, so there's only a few people in that. That whole box might end up being mine. And I'm not going to feel bad if I hit the Acuna. I've done it before. I'll do it again. Man, these are just tossed in here. Yeah, at least they're all graded. All right. Last box, card one. 2020 Bowman Chrome Mega Box. That is the Mojo Parallel. PSA Mint 9. Second card. 2020 Tops Beau Bichette. PSA Gem Mint 10. That'll be money back in a few months. And the last card. 2019 Julio Rodriguez. Prospects Chrome PSA Gem Mint 10 for the Seattle Mariners. Free agent. And those are our nine cards. Uh, honestly, I think the worst one in here is going to be the Otani at 60 bucks. So... That's a loss of, you know, in, in case Otani comes out and hits 40 home runs, it'll probably stay uh, probably a 60 or $70 card. Uh, if he pitches and he pitches well, I don't know, it could be up to 100 bucks. Uh, Boba Shetts and Julio Poisson, 
So the ones we're chasing here are obviously going to be uh, the Acuna, the Tatis, the Luis, the Luis, and the Bow and Lux. Uh, and probably going to be the Julio after that. Let me get these entered in. Jordan, how's it going? Welcome. I mean, look at that name. Look at those names on that list. That's that's pretty sick. What do you guys think? Is that a good case or what? I, I saw one of those cases opened, and this one was far better than the one that I saw opened up. Okay, so what's going to happen is I'm going to leave your names here. No, let's randomize the list. Let's randomize the uh, both lists. We're going to randomize the, uh, the player list, the card list. First, let's roll some dice. Five times. Eric, how's it going? All right. Best of luck. We're going to randomize this list five times. So if you end up being on the top of this list in the first position, you're going to get the Eloy. If you end up in the eighth spot you're gonna take home the Acuna etc etc best of luck five times one two three four here we go congratulations everybody and especially congratulations to amp Acuna goes to Amp. Congrats, Ashish. Congrats, my boat, my buddy. Uh, Paulson goes to KFD Cooks. Yotani goes to Doug. The Rodriguez is gonna go to Cal. Congrats, Cal. Probably the uh, probably the um, the least sure bet, but still gonna you know has the higher ceiling potential. Bichette to Rebel Rye. Gavin Lux to Soul 9.5. The Robert uh, Minor League card goes to Cake. Eloy Jimenez goes to Craig. And the Fernando Tatis Jr. goes to 22. Uh, congrats, everybody. I mean, by far exceeded what I, what I thought that that was going to do. That was hot. All right, we got Chase buying a couple spots in the Series 2. So two spots off of that. Means we got 10 spots left.
Craig, uh, you you had you had the uh, the Eloy, the gold Eloy. Um, honestly, I don't know. I uh, I would say probably three hundred bucks would be my guess. It's a rookie. It's a rookie card. Uh, Bowman doesn't. Uh, maybe they do sometimes. It depends. I think they maybe do it on print date. So if they do your Bowman's first before they do your your top rookie card flagship, I th and it's not the first Bowman. I don't believe that they give you um, a rookie card stamp on these, but it still is rookie year. Four out of fifty. I mean, I, I I would I would buy this for three hundred bucks, and it's just and the only reason why it got a nine is because the centering. You can see it's off left to right there, pretty good, or top to bottom. And the way you can easily tell looking at these ones is looking at the side border versus the top border. Um, you did good, Doug or uh, Craig, really good. Yeah, congrats, everyone. So if I had to rank these ones, obviously I'm gonna go to the. This is this is one. Of, this has been one of my favorite cards, uh, for a while. I don't have one. Maybe that's why it's my favorite. Um, after that, I would say probably the Tatis. After that, uh, probably go Eloy. I don't know. The value on Lewis Roberts minor league card. I would probably put this at 120 would be my guess. And a 10. Uh, after that, right now, I'd probably go Bichette, PSA 10. After that, um, probably the Gavin Lux. Uh, you know what? Between Gavin Lux and Shohei, they're probably about the same. There was probably, probably both between 50 and 70 bucks. And then the Julio and then the Pawson. Fun break. I'm gonna do final final call or excuse me last call. Um, I can't break Sapphire or Chrome Jumbo until those fill, uh, just because they're random teams. But we can do uh, the series two. So I'll go ahead and start off with the series two. Let's get this thing going. It's two packs per spot. And that's gonna, I'm gonna randomize the box too, so we don't have uh, 60 for the for the Bowman or for the Heritage. Okay, yeah. Minor league cards don't generally hold the value or have much value. You guys can still pick up spots in this. I'm still gonna go ahead and rip it. We can start on it, and then. Um, you can also pick up your spots in Contender, Sapphire, or Chrome Jumbo. Alright, this is like the fourth box that I've opened, and I've pulled one Glaber short print and run a Cunha short print. So, just playing odds here, I have a 50% chance of hitting one. Even though I think it's like one every like two cases or something like that. <laughs> um, I've got the NFL contenders. All right, this is for Ornelli. Good luck, Ornelli. We're looking for uh, Raphael Devers, um, Otani, and then other than that, we're looking for Glaber and uh, Ronald Acuna. 
Right team, wrong player. And series two was kind of a bust with the exception of those two players or two uh, two main cards. So pack two coming to Arnelli. Sandy Alcantara, rookie card. Yohan Makata. Denard Span. And last two cards are uh, Matuk and Matt Olson. Nothing uh, that would warrant a shipping label. Um, if you want those, Arnelli, um, let me know. I'll send those to you. Otherwise, if you want, let me know and I'll send you a refund on your shipping. Figure that's a good way to get four bucks back in your purchase. Or three bucks, whatever shipping is. <clears throat> Alright, next up we got 22. Has four packs. Go one, two, three, and four. Good luck, Mr. Twenty Two. We'll get some optic. Optics um, on the way. It's stuck somewhere in Texas in the snowstorm in Texas. Brandon Nemo. It's a team card. Throwback for the Kansas City Royals. Pedro Martinez. You got a foil of Jacob Faria. Bryce Harper. Fernando Rodney. Come on, Acuna. Scott Kingery. Trace Thompson. And if I skip over a short print or anything special, um, not intentional, please let me know. Lucas G. Lito. Tommy Pham. Jose Canseco. That's the same card for the Royals. That's in a foil variation. You're, you're starting your rainbow over there. 22. Jose Ramirez and Jared Eckhoff. Last pass. Joss Harrison. Ozzie Smith. Tyler Anderson. Manny Pena. Uh, Scott Kingery is your best card there. 22. Um, I'm not going to write home about that one. But since you bought a card, I'll go ahead and send these to you. In the break kings, obviously. And Foss with three spots. Was Foss going to get... Oh, geez. I'm sorry. This box is basically dead. B Foss is here. He bought into this box. There's no way this is going to go well. Three, four, five, and six. So there's going to be a bat down variation in here and ruin the rest of this box. I should have put beef boss at the end of the box, at, at the end of this break. Give chance, chance. <laughs> if he doesn't hit anything, this box might sell out faster than I can open it. <laughs> Kenny Giles. Francisco Lindor. All right, not in pack one. Adam Eaton on the top. Napoli. Rod Carew. Let's 
Drew Smiley. Dylan Peters. Chris Strikeout Davis. Chris Taylor. Mr. Clutch. All uh, playoff hitter. Hello. Adam Frazier. There's a nice card. Award show. That's uh, Aaron Judge and uh, the other injury prone Yankee. Another wrong. Oh, come on. Back to back Angels and Pirates. Braves, I mean. Jesus. I think this is. Was 2017 Aaron Judge? Mike Stanton, I couldn't think of his name. Jesus Christ, Mike Stanton. Two packs left for BFOS. Josh Bell again. That's a blue parallel. Noah Syndergaard. Thor. Didi Gregorius, wrong Yankee we're look, not looking for. Thomas Nito. Looks like we got a gold back here. Sean Newcomb, future stars. Drew Pomeranz. And Paul Goldschmidt. Sorry, Brian, that wasn't for you. A couple of nice cards. It's one of those boxes that you're obviously not happy with or you're very happy with. Give him a chance, he says. Give him a chance uh, with four packs. Three, four. One, two, three, four. Michael Taylor. Joey Ricard. Travis Shaw. Come on, Acuna. Glaber. Did I put you down twice? Travis Escobar. <laughs> Doug's a man of his word. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I got you. I was like, shit, man. You, you pay for two. Don't be sending you a refund. <laughs> I'll tell you what. Um, if I hit the card, if we hit the Acuna, if we hit the short, if we hit a short print, um, I'll refund the rest of the spots. Edwin Encarnacion. Charlie Blackman. All right, last pack, last chance for chance. Good luck, my man. Corey Seager. 
Buster retired Posey. Matt Holiday, rest in peace. I'm sorry, Chance. It was never in your cards or in my cards. I apologize. All right, let's go. Hey, there's no guarantee, guys. This is this is there's no guarantee of these cards in this box, just so you know. We are not due. Just because BFOS did not hit a short print does not mean that this box is due. There is 12 boxes in the case of this stuff right here. And so that's one out of 36 chances that there's a short print in here, I think. Or one in 24. I don't know. I don't. That's just an estimate. Good luck, Doug. Andrew Heaney. That's three. That's two angels in a row. Thought it was three. I was wrong. Adam Duvall. Matt Strom. Michael Brantley. Risk it for the biscuit, baby. Yeah, I'm gonna buy the I'm gonna open up the rest of these cards if uh no matter what at the end of this. Mark McGuire home runs. Oh yeah, we got an autograph. Usually it's a relic, but that's an Austin Hayes rookie card uh, rookie auto. Congrats, Doug. I don't know much about Austin Hayes. But there he is. Rookie autograph. I'm going to break out a top loader for it. All right, let's see if we can pull you a short print. Actually, I'm going to go through these again because I'm not sure I picked up the right stack or not. These look familiar. Yep. Two packs. Yeah, if he's still playing, then that's, that's a W in my book. I roll this Chapman. Teddy Ballgame. Andrew Benintendi. That is not his... Uh, the other Washington guy has the gold cup. Not Washington. Uh, Boston. Rafi Devers has... I think Rafi's, uh has a gold cup rookie card in this one. Mike Trout. You struck out on the short prints, but you got a Mike Trout and an Austin Hayes. I mean, not bad. I think I've only ever seen one other autograph out of this before, or that I've opened. All right, 22. Three. Luck. Josh Donaldson. Hey, that's a. Oh, I thought that was Austin Meadows for a second there. Chris Taylor. Yeah, that's a short print of Chris Taylor. That's a short print of Chris Taylor. I was going to say, it, that card looks. Unfamiliar. You know you've seen enough of these cards when uh, you can pick out the short prints. So 
Seth Lugo, Jacob deGrom. Come on, 22. Let's go. Jordan Leplow. Russell Martin. Matthew Boyd. Last pack. Let's get some mojo. Andre Ethier, Corey Kluber. We got lots of golds. That's uh, Mark Malancon. Shohei Otani, rookie card. Jake Arrieta. That's actually his uh, true rookie out of Series 2. Quite a bit off center, top to bottom. Still nothing. Still no uh, Acuna. Short print. Let's go two for me. Good luck, crown. Let's get it. Nothing. Mike Trout. Cole Calhoun. Mr. Diamondback himself. There's the award show in a non variation. God, these are gross. All right, BFOS is in for a couple more. There's only a couple packs left in here. I'm gonna pull the rest out. Shuffle the rest of these up. All right. Good luck, Brian. Nico Goodrum. D. Gordon, he's a cheater. Anthony Santander to Ronald Torres, not Glaber Torres, Julio Tejran, Josh Fields, <laughs> me too, Shane, Joe Panic, Addison Russell, Albert Pujols. Come on, Brian, let's go. Last pack. Let's do something here. There he is, right on top. Shohei Otani. And that is a sweet looking card, Brian. That's a gem. That's a gem. Congrats, man. Let's see what the rest of the pack has. The rest of the pack was a uh, Duda. But I think once this jams and he wins an MVP, you're looking at profit.
All right, I'm gonna open up the rest of this box. Um, you got six packs left. You have until two packs left if you want to buy another. If you want to buy the last two. AJ Mentor Gold, Xander Bogarts, Jose Altuve. Hey, there's a black wave. That's numbered out of 67. Too bad it's Brandon Moss and not anything, not, not nothing better. Aaron Hicks. That's a Joey Gallo napkin. Paul DeYoung. Holy crap, man. Back-to-back -back packs. That's a Mother's Day of Tom Kohler. I think two of the worst... I mean, those are like the two of the best low-numbered cards you can get. And they're both absolute shit. Uh, Sapphire spots. We got five spots left in the top Chrome Sapphire. Kyle Farmer. Greg Bird. Let me refresh the orders real quick before I open these last two packs. All right, I guess they're mine. Randy's going to take a spot. All right, cool. No short prints, or there was a short print, but there was no uh, Acuna or Glaber Torres, and we didn't hit a single Rafi Devers. Bummer box. No, that's why it's fun, though. That's why those are fun. Top Chrome Sapphire. I have four spots left. I want to break this thing. It's been sitting on my shelf for too long. We need to open it. I need my crack. So uh, I'll just go ahead and do a five minute countdown. So I wonder if you guys can help me out here while that, while that uh, 4 minute and 23 second timer is going on. I'm trying to figure out whether or not I should grade this. Corners, edges, and centering are all perfect. It's numbered out of 50. It's the gold wave. Probably not, huh? Yeah, I say no either. Pikachu. I have no idea how to tell centering on these. The only thing I can base it off of is uh, the border difference between the left and the bottom. 
it's it's dead on for, for what I can tell, but I don't know. Should I grade it? Grade the Pikachu? Spencer Torkelson. Uh, this one's off top to bottom or left to right on the back. You can see there. Should I grade it? It'll be a nine all day. I don't know if I should grade it or not. Ten dollars going once, going twice. Yeah, I've been meaning to express this thing for like a month now. I just haven't had time to put my PSA sub so together. I just started doing it like yesterday, actually. This is all I have for my for my one PSA sub for this uh, for this week. RJ. Rasmus and Dean. I like bomb, I like bomb. Randy, Kyle, Curse Dad, Boba Shit, Kobe White, Mike Trout, and Monsoto. That's all I got. Maybe I'll just express this one then. Yeah, that's. I'm trying to get mine out tomorrow, actually. Just because I don't want to get stuck behind it. Should I sub this knowing it's going to get a 9? I don't know. I'll grade the Pikachu. I'll pass on the Randy. Um, I'll grade that Randy. Pass on the Alzalei. Pass maybe on the Torkelson. Mike Trout, I picked this up for like 15 bucks on eBay. Should gem. I'm going to send that one. Bichette's. Bichette and Nico Horner. Should I should I grade that one? Um, not right now, Doug. They they turned they turned uh well they canceled will call uh, with COVID. So I don't know when they're gonna reopen that. Fifty one seconds left to buy into Top Chrome Sapphire. You got three teams. You're guaranteed one of the top 10 teams, White Sox, Angels, Padres, Rays, Blue Jays, Astros, Dodgers, Mariners, Reds, and Cubs. And then you get two teams from the remainder of that list. So you can get like Yankees, Tigers, and then uh, White Sox. You get all those cards. Pikachu?
Mm, yeah. Oh yeah, I can see that. It's definitely fat up here or down here. I uh, we'll see. I don't know. Whatever. I'm sure a nine's doing just fine. All right. So it looks like the timer's up. Nobody else is interested. So let's go. I'm not going to leave you guys hanging on this. Let's uh, jump into it. Uh, we've got uh, 22 with two spots. Randy with two spots. Myself. Bifos. Jordan M. So since I'm buying the rest of these, I'm going to give them out to, I'm going to take one spot for myself. And I'm going to give these last two spots uh, to Zach over at uh, Card Brokers HQ. I mean, I paid for it. Let's randomize this list. Six. The hard way. Five. Six. Tier two. Six. This will be for tier two. You get your name listed twice since you're going to get two teams here. Tier one. Four. Five. Good luck, everybody. Six. Okay. And there's your list. So 22 with the Reds, Padres, Pirates, Braves, Cardinals, and Nationals. Foss with the Blue Jays. Jordan M with the Angels. Let's get you a big Mike Trout. I pulled the Cheaters and the Rays. <laughs> 
Uh, Randy had a great, uh, a very nice uh, randomization here. The Mariners and the White Sox. And then Zach with uh, my Dodgers and the Cubs. Let's go. One box of cards, man. 32 cards in total for $600. Nice Eloy Gold Cup right there on top for the White Sox. Castro. Mike Ford. Victor Reyes. Jorge Polanco. The once great Cole Hamels. Nice Sean Murphy there. Trent Thornton and Matt Beatty. Brian Anderson. Brian O'Grady. Lance Lynn. Jackie Bradley Jr. I'm going to try, Brian. I'm going to try. Justin Upton. So far, this is the worst box I've ever seen. So far. Could be the greatest. I'm not going to do that because I saw it already. Kevin Kramer. Matt Strom. So our parallel is out of the way. I don't think we can get... I'll save the auto for the last. I don't, I don't think we can get two uh, parallels that late in the game. So we need a heavy auto here. Otherwise, this was a terrible box. Aaron Judge. That looks like Detroit. Travis Demerit. Oh, man, that was by far the worst box I think I've ever seen. That's the we fail. Yeah. Ugh. Ugh. I mean, I'm not even sure if a single card in here is worth the penny sleeve. I think Monkey Best was our best hit. Fuck me, man. I can't even do a I can't even do a recap on this. There's not even Probably our best card, actually. Very first card in the break. Recap. Uh, 6 out of 10. Travis Demeritz and Eloy Jimenez is going to be our best card in that box. That might be a... $50 card at PSA 10. Gross. That's what I say. Gross. <laughs> yes, it is, Jordan. <laughs> no, I'll refund you guys shipping if you don't want me to send you anything. Always. It doesn't... 
it costs me money to send you guys stuff. So if you guys want a refund, it's actually saving me money. So. Yeah, there's too many spots left in the jumbo. Um, once this shoots up to an $800 box, which this is going to be an $800 box, um, we'll run this again. The jumbo. That's all I got, guys. No, 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 it, it cost me, it, well, because I have to do everything um, with tracking. So the minimum shipping costs on a tracking and insured uh, up to $100 is like 308, generally out of Southern California. So um, you pay 399 for for the product, for the shipping, but between like top loaders and penny sleeves, the boxes and you know just overall supplies uh, the 390 or 89 whatever the shipping 369 um, I, I lose money on shipping I got a, I got a chrome jumbo You're already in this one though. Um, yeah, you've got a spot in this one already. So does Foss. I think that's all I got. I have a, I have a draft sapphire box. I have a bunch of series one that I'm holding on to. This is the the hobby, and then I got the series one hobby jumbo. I've got a bunch of those, like a dozen. I'm holding on to those just because those those are really underpriced in my opinion. Uh, and then I got the Bowman Draft Sapphire, which I don't want to sell. And no, Shane, Spencer Torkelson is not in here. So I know you're gonna ask. That was my last box of Sapphire. I'm sad about it. Really sad about it. All right, guys. Um, I, I'm waiting for uh, stuff that's stuck in Tejas uh, snowstorm. As soon as that stuff is released and comes comes in from distribution, I'll get those posted. Um, it's going to be cheap, just so you guys know. Well, I'm gonna. I, I got this one at wholesale price, so it's going to be way below uh, market price for you guys. Just for you 16, 17 people that are watching. Um, so if you're if you're subscribed to the channel, uh, make sure you hit like, subscribe, and uh, make sure you're subscribed to the breaks, notifications, um, alert to whatever in the Discord server. That way you have the first priority to make sure you're in for those. Um, I believe it's the NFL Limited and... Optic? I think it's optics. Not 100% sure, but um, I, I plan on doing another big giveaway here pretty soon, too. So stay tuned. Sorry the Series 2 didn't go very well. Um, BFOS came the closest to making his money back. Congratulations, as always. But otherwise, tonight's. I mean, all in all, I think we did pretty fucking good, really. Uh, that's sick, man. Between these three cards, that's pretty sick. I mean, then Pawson, Pawson and Julio Rodriguez, Gavin Locks, Boba Shet, a couple of... Uh, I mean, if you guys want, jump into the chat 
on the Breaks uh, channel and let me know if you want to get some more of those uh, Break Kings. I know Brian's looking for some, so I want to get on the next one. You guys bought these out too quick that I didn't even get a spot on it. Um, this could have been mine right now. God damn it, Amp. But we're going to call it there. It's uh, 740 or 1040 if you're on the wrong coast. Um, but uh, we're going to hang it up. We'll, we'll do this again one, next week. Uh, yeah, we're going to do it next week. So uh, if you're looking to buy another Chrome or anything else, um, let me know and DM me and I'll give you priority. Uh, but for the time being, we're going to say good night. I appreciate you all for being here and uh, we'll see you next time. Peace.